are going to sign up for that. But if they can show up for a webinar and be kind of like a little looky-loo over in the corner and, and not have to commit too much or maybe not even, you know, contribute if they don't want to, et cetera, then they might do that. But what, what most people are totally cool with, you know, like subscribing to is getting like a PDF. And this is kind of like that. You know, like they give their name and email in order to get a PDF so that they can just consume the information. They just want to consume the That's all they want. And this is really uh, akin to that, where they're not committing that much. And that's why this is such a huge solution to the problem of, you know, people wanting just to get information, but they don't want to have the commitment of making a phone call. Does that make sense? Yep, that makes sense, Ryan. <clears throat> yeah, and then, and if you don't do this, you know, eventually, maybe not right now, but in a year from now, you're going to be the, the odd man out that's not making it easy to connect with your business with just text and everybody's got to call you and therefore you're just going to, you're not going to get as many phone calls. That's the bottom line. You're not going to get as many people inquiring about your business and you're just not going to get as many people connecting with your business is a better way to say it because they're not going to be reaching out via text or anything, you know, and this is just another way for them to be able to reach your business and, and get the answers to their questions that they have. So with that, yeah, go ahead and show your screen. That'd be, that'd be awesome. I want to see what we're looking at. <clears throat> okay, here we are. So this is um, how, this is where you set up your Google My Business messaging so that individuals can reach you from your Google My Business page. But I'm going to stop sharing this so I can show you from my phone exactly what Ryan is talking about. <laughs> yeah, because, so it's really, again, what we've been really been talking about for the past two or three days now is, is how to, how to, you know, one day at a time, how to optimize and, and really leverage all of the new tools that Google is giving you access to. And it, it basically, these are, you know, along with things like, you know, um, posting to your Google My Business page, you can actually post like you do a blog to your Google My Business page. And Crystal's showing right now her, her cell phone <clears throat> so that you can actually see, you know, how this shows up on a, on a cell phone and how cool is that? Again, Look at that right there, right next to call, there's a message, a message option right there. And no, even at the top, yeah. yeah. So again, it's all about having more options and more real estate. And again, you know, the other thing is, is the posts. Like these are all things at the top there, Crystal, like mm -hmm. that, you know, and we're still seeing your phone, but yeah, you can see where it says posts. Like those, that wouldn't be there if we weren't making posts. You know what I'm saying? And so now, you know, people can see all of our past posts, what we've done, what we've talked about, our, op, you know, our offers, and each one of these posts is getting 40, 50, 60, you know, people seeing these posts on a regular basis. And, and Crystal, if you'd go back just a second, go back to the main page there, that'd be great. I, I, that's awesome. I love seeing all those. Now, if, if you scroll down, the, th the third thing that we talked about the other day is, is the questions and answers. Look at this. There's the, the Q&As. You know, so it's, again, that's just more real estate that you're taking up and more opportunities for you to be able to engage with your customers and make it easy for them to go to your, find you on Google, which is where 60 to 70% of people are finding businesses locally. Okay. This is where they're going. And if you're not leveraging all these available tools to your business, then or for your business, and if you're also not getting more reviews so that they can make a quick decision about your business right then and there. I mean, basically, Google's making it so that people have a one-stop shop to go to in order to make a decision about your business. They don't even have to go to your website. I mean, you can see yeah. what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're making it so that they don't even, people don't even, I mean, look, 50%, the stats say this, 50% of the time, people are going to look at your reviews even before they go to your website. I'll say that again. <laughs> They're going to look at your reviews before. Everybody thinks, oh my gosh, I gotta have this. Made. They don't even look at your website. They don't care about it. They wanna know what people are saying about your business and that's, where they're, that's when they're gonna go to your Google My Business page and they better see that you've got 174 five-star reviews and that you've got posts there and that you've got you know, Q and A's there and that you've got easy and quick ways for people that, you know, to connect with your business so that you can 
you know, so that you can just get more people to connect with you. And so that you can get more, more inbound messages and more, self, more, more phone calls. And so that people can make a decision right then and there without having to go anywhere else. I mean, I want to make it so that if somebody sees my Google, my business page, they don't even need to look anywhere else. And if they do, they compare it and they're like, man, this other business isn't making any posts. They don't have any Q and A's. Mm -hmm. They don't have any reviews. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, it's hard yep. to get a hold of them. I don't want to make a phone call. I just want to text them. I have this texting option here, man, <laughs> I'm going to do this, you know? And, yeah. you know, so anyway, that's yeah, really, and, really and too, um, you've got to make sure that you've got every field answered because you've got to answer every question possible before a person makes a decision to message you or to call you. You've got to make sure those questions are answered first. And another thing that Google has is this um, uh, local guide. You can become a local guide. So as you um, participate, comment on reviews, and ask questions and suggest edits, Google rewards that individual who's using Google. So if you don't have all those questions answered, someone else is going to suggest an edit that is not part of your business. And whether that's, um, qu that answer is right or wrong, that is going to be posted on your Google My Business page. And it's going to yeah. be that forever until that person deletes it, which rarely happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we were just talking to a customer yesterday, you know, multi-million dollar company. And, you know, they, they were shocked to be, to be quite honest. I mean, right, Crystal, they were just yeah. shocked that, that he's like, wait a second. How, well, why would, why would there be different information on my Google, my business page? Or why would it change over time? It would never change. Yeah. And we're like, uh, no, uh, <laughs> that's not the case. Uh, yeah. yeah, it can change any day. And if you're not, if you're not monitoring or having somebody on your team monitoring that, absolutely. Yep. People can right suggest here. edits. Yeah. People can suggest an edit. And if you don't, and basically the process, Crystal, I believe is, is that, is that basically there's like a quarantine period for that edit. And then if it, if it doesn't get um, approved or it basically it just goes through, right? It just, yeah. it just, yep. yeah. So I mean, look at eventually how it just quickly it is. Yeah. It's a seven day process to where, your company can respond back to or correct something, but do you really want to get yourself in that situation? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so you're saying that basically seven, they have seven, the company has seven days to respond. And if they don't, then it just goes live. Yep. No way. Okay. I didn't even know that. Well, and this is why Crystal, <laughs> this is why Crystal does what she does. And I do what I do because, you know, Crystal is in the, in the Google, my business forums. You know, if you don't have a crystal on your team, then we'll, we'll let you rent crystal, um, on a, on a temporary basis. You know, <laughs> as, if you, if you become a customer, um, that's, that's what you get. You get access to crystal and she gets to, you know, make sure that just like she did with our, our customer yesterday, our client, you know, that, uh, and, and the other, by the way, we had, we saved the, the company speaking of monitoring, you know, they got their Google, my business page totally shut down and you found out about it because you were monitoring it and you got it reinstated. And again, I mean, let alone an edit. I mean, how about your whole Google My Business page being shut down? I and mean, that's literally like shutting their shut, closing their doors, you know? Yeah. And, um, and, you know, doing my research and reading into that, a suggesting an edit can also um, get your, um, your Google My Business page set, shut down as well. If somebody else suggests an edit and you're incorrect and you don't have a good quality, you know, and it goes into a quality issue, then Google's going to question it and shut down um, your Google My Business page. So, you know, when you're showing up on the top five pages of the top three search engines, like 163 links a month, and your page shuts down, you lose all of that. <laughs> and and yeah. um, also what we're finding out too is Google rarely reinstates a suspension. So um, really, you know, working with a team like us that knows how to do stuff like that, that it's a big difference. <laughs> it's a big difference. Yeah. So I didn't know that they, they rarely reinstate a, a, uh, a suspension like we had the other day with, uh, yep. with Hamilton, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Well, that's interesting. So basically, that you know, the, that, that's a, so that, <laughs> did that you ever find out why? That was in the Google forum last night. And they said that, um, what you get as far as why they suspended it, if it's quote quality issue, that's all the answer you're going to get from 
Google. So, you know, you got to, me personally, have to dig a little deeper in the research and talk with the individuals from the forum to really own it into five options of where it's coming from. But I mean, that's us because of our area of expertise. Yeah. What would, I mean, if, if you lost your Google My Business page and you didn't really have, I guess, somebody like us, then would you just give up and start over and lose all of those years of, of progress that you've yeah. created, you know? To well, get yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, that's literally like for the, for the, for one of our clients, I mean, they're getting a hundred inbound phone calls from their Google, my business page a month. Mm -hmm. That That is literally a million dollars worth of business a year for them. That's yep. what it translates into. And yep. <clears throat> so, you know, for the average small business, it might not be a million dollars, but it, you know, based on the customer lifetime value that you have, the CLV, I mean, I would say that it, on average, if, if a Google My Business page got shut down, it'd be worth at least fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 or more for even a small business. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and so, uh, Ryan, we are out of time. <clears throat> yep. So yep. I've included in the link um, a case study for you to download to learn about how property management company got over 371 reviews on Google got on the first position on Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. Yep. Is yeah, so de definitely go to m.me forward slash accelerate marketing um, and or click the link that Crystal gave you. Um, and just A-C-C-E-L, accelerate marketing. So it's A-C-C-E-L-E-R-A-T-E, -E -E, accelerate marketing. So m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. And then we've got all kinds of case studies and all kinds of uh, audits and free downloads that you can get that will help you understand how to apply this stuff to your business. So um, we do this every day and um, give us feedback on what you think. We try to get in and out and talk about one topic. And um, what are we talking about, you know, this rest of this week and next week? Uh, tomorrow is uh, Google Q&A. We kind of touched a little bit on that. And individuals being able to ask questions. Uh, from your Google My Business page and, and the business owner answering them back. We talked about that a little bit today. We'll go into more discussion tomorrow. This week is Google My Business. Next week is local SEO. And the week after that is online reviews. Awesome. Thanks, Crystal. Well, create a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye.